Good morning, everyone. Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. May 13th. Yes, I looked at it before I came outside. 2019. Beaver dog, don't eat wood, please. Sam, don't eat it. Okay? You can spit it out, but don't eat it. All right. Uh, yeah, it rained yesterday, which is very nice, and it wasn't like a really strong downpour. It just kind of came and went all day long, which was absolutely beautiful. So I'm happy about that. No destruction, I hope. I shouldn't say no destruction on the garden. I haven't even looked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's take a look real quick. I'm not gonna go. See that held up pretty well. I put the um, shade cloth over those, and the plants look good. So just real quick, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on everything. Um, mostly what was exposed. Ravi look pretty good. Yeah. That one looks like something stepped on it. Yeah, that totally looks like... Yep, something snapped it. Could have been a bird. Don't know. Um, so... Things are looking good. Like I said, I was really pleased. We are blessed um, with the rain not being a absolute downpour. So, looking good. The winds were mediocre. They weren't bad. So, there's that too. Uh, the kale does not look good. I guess it's all right. Yeah. I lost all the others though. Only that one cluster has made it. Oh no, I lie. There's one right there. So more kale has seedlings. And the fig tree is once again looking really good. A little bit of burning. If I remember right, this leaf was kinda like that when I bought it. I could be wrong, but all the new growth coming in, that's just awesome. So, ah, hang on, I'm looking for that little, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened with that. It might have actually become that whole stem right there. Okay, and the cauliflower. We lost a couple more of them. That whole area is just gone. So, a couple looking good. But that's why we overplant. We don't know what's, or, yeah, overplant. We don't know what's going to make it and what's not. And like I said before, I think the seedlings need to be um, aged out a little more before they come out here. So, man, look at that guy. Wow. He's happy. So is the little one. I don't know if you can see it. The little one's doing good too. Happy potatoes. Happy potatoes. Alright, so... I don't know. I feel like I'm not getting a whole lot done around here lately, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I am going to do a bunch of small tasks again today. I mean, truth be told, I'm putting off bringing gravel back. <laughs> I don't feel like shoveling it and transporting gravel back here. But uh, we'll get done. I just don't know when. I need to. I decided this one board that the neighbor gave me is going to replace the shorter one that I put on the wall. I can't even show you. Um... 
Hang on a second. I know you're just seeing blue, and I apologize. I turned it the wrong way. There we go. So I found that board in an alley. And just used it. So I think I'm going to move that one down for smaller tools to hang from and put this bigger one up top so I have more space. And I do have a larger tarp, so I'll still be able to tarp it. I'll just have to move my uh, hooks, that's what they're called. I'll have to move my hooks over. And then that's the burn barrel that I got from George yesterday. No, day before yesterday, Saturday. So, all right. And then <coughs> I am going to do our snake. Uh, shoot, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I'm going to show you guys how I try to keep snakes off the property. It's pretty inexpensive and... I believe it works. I've never seen any snakes, but I'll walk you through that. It's pretty simple. And then I really, I started looking at this the other day. And not only do I dig my rock collection, of course, but I thought that would be really cool if I could fill it up with water for the birds. So leave the rocks inside. I got to get a plug in the bottom of the terracotta pot. And we have some cork in the house. I'm gonna see if I have a piece of uh, bottle cork that'll fit in the bottom and actually plug that bottom hole um, so that it won't drain. And then leave the rocks where they are and just make it like an ornamental um, watering dish for the birds. So that's on the list today. And Play ball with Cooper's on the list today. And possibly try to work on what April started days ago with um, pulling the mulch, making it thinner so that we can cover that area over there where Sam's at. So, oh, and then the other way back when I still haven't gotten back around to this which is not cool but um, this bed I was gonna plant in it and it had termites so I don't know if it's from the mulch I'm guessing it's from the mulch and now I don't see them that's just right that was an egg maybe I don't know was it just don't want them to get onto the house and this bed is close to the house so I am very much a let nature do what it's gonna do person um, there's a couple of exceptions to that one is snakes second is cockroaches and the third is termites so don't eat wood please don't eat wood so, I have a feeling they're attacking this, though. You know how resilient um, irises are. And this is just dying. Like overnight. It didn't look that way the other day. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to dig in here and find out. I uh, looked it up online and an easy, inexpensive way to get rid of slash kill termites is vinegar so just gonna spray some vinegar on it if I find them stop eating wood man beaver dog stop it so all right that's it that's it um, we will talk to y'all later going to Start off the morning with playing ball with Cooper so that he will leave me alone. Yeah, right. Okay, you guys.
Much love to you. I hope you had a great uh, weekend. And we're going to get going on some stuff again. So, see you soon. Are you smiling at me? Are you smiling at me? Huh? You ready? Let's play ball. Come on.